I'm Jen Harris with the LA Times food section and I am here with our restaurant critic Jonathan Gold uh, who you can see doesn't have a paper bag over his head. Uh, that is because he has officially given up his anonymity um, and now everyone can see your face. I feel like Batman just putting down the cow. There you go, unveiled. Mm -hmm. um, so talk to me a little bit about why uh, it is or was important for a restaurant critic to be anonymous and why you decided to give it up now. Well, there's this thing that's been an important strain in American restaurant criticism of having the restaurant critic be a consumer advocate mm -hmm. in the way that, say, an art critic or a theater critic isn't necessarily required to do. But in the age of Instagram and the age when people will, you know, put your picture on Twitter before yeah. you've had your first cocktail, the idea of anonymity is, it doesn't exist in the same way anymore. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it ever existed, right? I mean, it's if you're a restaurant critic and it's in the restaurant's economic interest to know who you are and what you look like, they know who you are and what you look like. I don't think there's been an American restaurant critic that's truly gotten away with it in a really long time. Yeah. There was one critic in Chicago, Dennis Ray Wheaton, that mm -hmm. was sort of famous at being the one guy who got away with it, but. Okay, and I mean, coming out, I mean, showing your face now, does that have to do with um, your, the documentary is coming out, City of Gold? Yeah, um, Laura, Laura Gabbard, uh, a documentarian, has been like following me to certain places for the last four years and has made a documentary that's going to be released at uh, Sundance next week. Nice. So tell me, what happens when you walk in a restaurant? Do I mean, does the staff freak out? Uh, do people ask to take pictures with you? What, what happens exactly? Um, it depends on the restaurant. Um, yeah, sometimes there's that um, moment where people go into all oh, hell mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes you can tell, you can recognize when the waiter's hand will shake when he's pouring the wine or when a dish will take just a weirdly long time to get to the table. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking maybe they're making a couple versions of it or um, that suddenly dishes start coming to the table that you hadn't asked for, which is annoying because then you have to actually like pay for them at the end anyway. Yes, because there's no free food. There's, right? no, there's no free food, there's no free drink. You can't take so much as like a free potato chip. Exactly, exactly. All right, so, and do you have any, I mean, you've, you've had to disguise yourself over the years. Do you have any favorite disguises that you've used? Um, well, my favorite, at least in terms of pictures of me, was a uh, silhouette taken by my friend Ann Fishbein that has me looking kind of like uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. I have seen that one. Very nice. Um, and so now that, you know, you're not anonymous anymore, uh, are you just going to go on a selfie binge or what's going to happen? I don't think anything's really going to change. It's just I'm going to stop pretending that they don't know who I am. I'm still going to reserve under f fake names. Yeah. I'm still going to show up late. I'm still going to, you know, pay for, you know, every single, you know, gram of food and drink. I mean, everything's everything's going to be the chain the same except that you know, when somebody says, "Hi Jonathan," I can say, "Hi." Hi back. Back. Nice. All right. Uh, so for more with Jonathan and to check out all his reviews, uh, please visit latimes.com backslash food.